two ingredient fudge is not only possible, it is so easy to make. I'm CM Coleman, welcome to my home, and we are going to make a two ingredient fudge that I'm going to tell you a couple things about. First up, the most important thing to remember, spray your pan. I lined my eight by eight a pan with aluminum foil and then I greased it with butter. You can use spray butter, you can use whatever, just make sure that this is greased really, really well or else you'll have the first disaster that I had, which was taste it great, stuck to the pan. We don't want that to happen. The next part, and I made it originally in a glass pan, so this is, I can do it in any kind of pan. Next thing is I'm going to take two cups of the black chocolate chips or dark chocolate chips. Woohoo! That will taste so good. And then this, and if you want to make your own chocolate, you can click that button and it'll take you to the spot to make your own chocolate. However, I can honestly say on this one, I would, I would buy the chocolate chips versus making them simply because that chocolate is like really, really rich and wonderful and you want the chocolate to, you know, really stand out. So I like to use a purchased chocolate for this and use my homemade chocolate for things which I want the chocolate taste to stand out the most because the condensed milk, which also, if you want to learn how to make condensed milk, just click that little button up there. This is 14 ounces of condensed milk and that's sweetened condensed milk. I'm just going to pour that in there. Now the fun. And I've learned this from experience. I'm going to give it a little stir. Then I'm going to take this over to the microwave and I'm going to microwave it for two to three minutes. I am going to stir this about every minute after it starts so that that way I can make sure that everything gets melted. You want it completely melted and in a pourable consistency. Once it is, we will come back and we'll put it into our pan. It, every, it is out of, the, out of the microwave, giving it a little stir. Then I'm going to pour it into my pan. Nothing fancy, nothing incredibly hard about this. You do want to act pretty quickly because it sets up really fast. Well, it sort of sets up really fast. We've got this in our pan now. I'm going to stick it into the refrigerator for about two hours. After two hours, it will come out and it will be wonderful. So I'll be back with this in two hours. It's been two hours and our fudge is done. And look at that, did not stick to the pan or anything. I'm gonna cut this into pieces and I'm gonna make mine fairly good pieces. I will cut off a nice big hunk. That is really good fudge. That is actually amazing. It has the rich, deep, dark chocolate taste and this creaminess to it. The butter on the outside, I did go a little heavy on the butter, so you don't have to, but it makes it so good. This was one of those that you can make in no time, put it in the fridge and you'll have fudge before you know it. And how simple was that? No real, mu no real fuss, no real mess. It is so good. If you make this, give me a picture. Remember, you can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. I'd also like to hear comments, ideas, or suggestions for you, and you can leave me for those down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe every Monday through Friday at Something Different. On Friday, it is always a sweet treat for you. And I hope you get to test these out. These are so good, and I think that you will love these. If you have any ideas for some sweet treats you'd like to see me come up with, or recipes you'd like to see me try, don't forget to let me know. You can also check out my Saturday, which on Saturday is my life on YouTube, where I talk about the behind the scenes and what goes into making a YouTube channel. And as always, remember, running your house doesn't have to be a full-time job. Turn it into a hobby and have some fun.